Starting your own landscape photography business can be really scary, but I'm here to tell you that it actually is easier and more accessible than ever before. In this video, I'm going to be sharing three myths surrounding starting your landscape photography business coming up. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is David Johnson. On this channel, I help you improve your landscape photography and start your own business doing so. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But now let's jump right into those three myths. Myth number one is that you're not good or you don't understand business. Anyone can start a business. It's actually a lot simpler than you would think. Remember, I was just some random kid from Tennessee who chose some degree and was at a dead end job. I even flunked out of my business minor in college. I remember sitting in the very dimly lit room of my professor who signed my withdrawal notes because he said that I would never be good at business. From that moment on, I really worked to discover things that they weren't even teaching in college that apply to today's world, not some book world, and these things actually work. So if some random kid who chose a random degree and was at a dead end job, flunked out of business school, can start their own successful business, you can too. Myth number two is that you just don't have time right now to start your business. You know, remember that dead end job I told you about? When I was starting my own business, I found ways to take photos to and from my way home from work. So when our conditions would be right, I would know where to go and how to get there. And I wouldn't waste any extra time getting home with work obligations, family obligations, other extracurriculars that I was doing too. And I was able to sell those exact same photos as prints for $900 each when I would print them again and again. It's actually not as time consuming as you would first think, and you can do it with a job and a family. Myth number three is I won't be able to find any clients or people that want to buy my photography products or my photos. Even with a tiny following, you can start a successful five to six figure landscape photography business. I have just a handful of followers and my wife is the only one who really comments on a lot of my photos, and I was able to do it just by doing that. This all clicked for me when I was teaching a workshop in person in Grand Teton National Park. I was standing there with just a small group of clients and thought, there's got to be a way to reach more people than just these few. When I got home from that trip, I started doing some research on Facebook about how many people use the term landscape photography in their post and in their interests, and it turned out that number was over 22 million people. That's a massively untapped market that a lot of landscape photographers are completely missing out on because they're not leveraging the ability to reach those people on social media. And last I checked, a small workshop group of 10 people or so is much less than 22 million. Now, if you got a lot of value out of those three myths, I actually have a total of seven myths that you can watch, plus seeing the step-by-step -step process of starting your own five to six figure landscape photography business in just 30 days in a free training that I have right now. If you want that, click the link in the pinned comment section.